This is how you can successfully line up and pot some thin shots and some really thin shots. This is Break From Life. Welcome back, and if this is your first time watching one of our videos, then it's fantastic to have you here. The most common thing people get wrong when they're playing snooker is not quite lining the shot up accurately enough. So say we're trying to pot this red, and in order to pot this red, we're going to have to get the cue ball exactly into this position. Now if we look from the point of view of the cue ball, if we follow the centre of the cue ball where it would go along this cue, then it would go exactly to the edge of the red. And this is a half ball shot where you're hitting exactly the edge of the red with the centre of the cue ball. And in this video, we're going to be looking at how to play shots thinner than half ball. Step one, use the edge of the cue ball to line the shot up. Because the centre of the cue ball here is going to miss the red altogether in order for us to pop this, we're going to use this edge to hit here on the red to make sure we pot it. Step two, don't be afraid to miss the ball altogether. If you're worried about this, you'll probably find you're never gonna hit the ball thin enough. This can lead you playing shots thicker than you'd want, and if you are missing most shots thick, then this could be a contributing factor. Step three, practice these sort of shots until you get a good feel for where the edge of the ball is. It may take a few goes, but this will eventually calibrate your aim to allow you to play thin shots more accurately and consistently. Step four, use the whole pocket. On basic shots like this, where you've got a thin pot, you don't have to pot it into the center of the pocket. You can Pot it a little bit thicker into this side. This is only going to make the shot simpler for you, and the more straightforward the shot is, the less worried you're going to be about missing the pot or missing the ball altogether. Bonus step there's an awful lot of players out there who will often line up the shot very accurately. That is until they have to either stun or screw the ball, where they'll find it will miraculously straighten up somehow, or somehow manage to make the ball overcut by quite a way. However you play it, it just doesn't seem to want to go towards the pocket. You don't have to line up the shots any differently when you're playing them like this, but you are making the shots slightly harder. And that just means you have to line up the shots more accurately. And I show you exactly how to do this in our video snooker aiming system. It's in the card right now and on the Break From Life channel page. And while you're there, make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel. Step five, work out where the white's gonna go before you play the shot. On thin shots like this, the white's gonna run away from you and you're not gonna have a lot of control. But there are still things you can do. Notice the part of the pocket the red goes into when I go in off. But notice how much of a difference potting the red into the thinner side of the pocket makes. And if I put the balls back in exactly the same position again, I can even make it miss the pocket on the other side by potting it slightly thicker and just hitting the ball with more power. Just be aware of all these things if you feel you need to change the path of the cue ball. Step six, changing the angle with side spin. If you play snooker a lot, then you're likely to know exactly where the white's gonna finish if I pop this black. It's actually quite difficult to pot a shot like this with either stun or screw back, especially as this shot is very thin and those spins won't have much of an effect. So I'm going to pot the black with right hand side, which is going to make the white break wider and miss the middle pocket by a mile. Now it did take a few goes and an awful lot of left hand side, but I was eventually able to pot the black and get the white to miss this side of the middle pocket. So be aware what you can do with side. Step seven, have the confidence that you've lined up the shot accurately. Because the moment that you've decided to change your mind on the shot is the moment you stop improving. And this is a mistake a lot of people make. 
And if you want to see more mistakes people make when they're playing snooker, try our video, Snooker Mistakes People Don't Realise They're Making. Or if you want to know more about the side spin I used in this video, then try our video, Snooker Side Shots. And remember, don't just watch, play, and make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel, and visit the website. See you later.